The title of this paper is I Can't Breathe, The Suffocating Nature of Racism. The pre-Socratic philosophers like Thales, Heraclitus, Parmenides and others have had interesting things to say about the nature of reality. Empedocles, for instance, thought that air, earth, fire and water are the basic constitution of things. We no longer seem to think in those basic elemental terms, but these ideas continue to resonate and to shape our thinking about the world around us. But what has this got to do with contemporary forms of racial injustice, which is the subject of this discussion? The inspiration for this paper came from the death of George Floyd in May 2020, particularly the words he uttered just before he died. I can't breathe, he said. Air is not only fundamental to life, and breathing is the very mechanism that sustains it, working like bellows that feed oxygen into the lungs through inhalation, while extracting waste through exhalation. Any obstruction to this process stifles life itself. I have taken the ideas of air and earth as the basis of this discussion and argue that air has become the new instrument of racial oppression. The original target of racial injustice was the body. The slave was a mere material object that was viewed, like Mother Earth, as primarily a means of production. In other words, the significance of the black body was its instrumentalization or the means to sustain the life of other people, much in the way that a tree yields fruits for consumption. Also, the black body was an object of to be controlled, disciplined, punished, or dehumanized by being violated, ripped, flogged, and starved. But all that changed after emancipation when the body began to retreat as the object of subjugation. Blackness became invisible or not seen at all because it was no longer regarded as matter. In other words, black lives did not matter because it was no longer regarded as matter. Racism had moved on to air by targeting breathing itself as the actual object of repression, which is where suffocation comes into play. Air represents freedom and human flourishing, whereas suffocation represents its negation. I introduce what I describe as suffocation theory to explain this phenomenon. In this context, suffocation is a methodical process by which society's laws, rules, regulations, policies and socio-political attitudes that appear to be neutral and universal, carefully select and then slowly but systematically squeeze the social air that blackness breathes, leading not only to what Patterson describes as social death, but to actual death, as in the case of George Floyd. What is particularly interesting about the aerial nature of the new racism is that it is invisible, barely noticeable, or even traceable. Unlike the overt nature of previous racist expressions that targeted the body. This is the summary of this paper and I hope you enjoy reading it. Thank you.